and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Brienne from Beyond Briation and in today's video we have day 12 of 12 days of Christmas crafts and today is a project share of this shadow box layout that I made. It was made using the Baking Spirits Bright Collection by Simple Stories. That is absolutely one of my all-time favorite paper collections and mom if you're watching this stop watching it because you're going to ruin one of your Christmas presents. Um, but I made this layout for my mom for Christmas. So let me pull it out of the shadow box and let's go through everything that I put on it. Every year we do a gingerbread house making contest. This year we did Christmas trains and we actually were able to capture a whole family photo. So I want to print that out and put that in here and then she'll be able to put this up every single year as a memory of this year's Christmas train making. And if she wants, she can swap out the pictures every year as well and just keep it always updated. But the shadow box is just an 8x10 shadow box that I got from Michaels. I personally really like the black and the white frames. All they had left was this kind of brown frame. Um, but I really wanted to make this shadow box, so I picked it up. And it actually works really, really nicely, specifically with this layout. So I'm actually really thrilled with the color but this is my 8x10 layout uh, you'll see here on the background I've used silver glitter cardstock that is by Sizzix and I layered that all throughout all of the layers I used one of the baking spirits bright photo frames this is a 3x4 photo frame and it just says baking memories I have this open at the top so that we're able to slip a photo down inside. I'm gonna be doing that right after I'm done filming this. I do have another layer here that's up on foam tape and I just layered together a striped cardstock. I don't know how you, if you can see it in there but there is like a striped cardstock in there. Maybe if I lift this up. Um, and I didn't have the piece of the stripes that I had wasn't big enough to fit on the size that I wanted in the background. So I just paired that up with this little gingerbread cardstock and I put them together. And then what you're seeing here is in the middle is just what I used to hide that seam where they connected. Uh, so I did that and then that way it all just kind of flows together and it doesn't look like it's been necessarily piecemealed together. And then I have the Merry and Bright chipboard sentiment. This is a large one. This came from the chipboard pieces. I added the little gingerbread house here and then I just put the little ho 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 sentiment on there and added some silver cardstock. And then this is my one of my rolled wrapping paper cards and it just says gingerbread kisses. I thought it went perfect with this layout. It does open. Um, it's still the card. I didn't remove it from the card base and I didn't cut the back of the card off for that one. But uh, so this way she can tuck any previous year's photos just kind of in that card storage space and then replace it into the shadow box. So that is it for 12 days of Christmas crafts. If you've stuck around and watched every day of the 12 days with me, thank you so much. I am so happy that you're here. And it was so much fun to go through and design 12 whole new crafts and get to use some new techniques that I've never used before and put together some really cute cards and layouts and shadow boxes and decor. So I had a lot of fun. Thank you so much for watching and for subscribing and for liking my videos and for leaving comments. And I can't wait to see what 2024 has in store. See you back here in the new year sometime in January. Thank you so much for watching again and we will see you in the next Beyond Creation video. Bye!